hey, hey, before we start today, I just want to say I'm, I'm better, I'm doing good, I'm better, I'm stronger, so much better. Okay, this is the one right here. This is the video that you guys have been waiting for. I know some of you guys have been asking about this. The only thing is, I am actually very sick right now. Ugh, fever. Uh. Okay, so I'm doing good. I'm doing better. I'm feeling stronger. And I'm, feel I'm pumped up for this video right here. But before everything else, Guys, guys, everyone, welcome back to yet another video on this channel. We wanna help you make your video look good. We wanna help you make your video look nice. We wanna give you all the tips and all the tricks and all the hacks just to help you in your content creation process, the production part of your content creation process. If you guys are into that, consider subscribing and join this community growing little by little, but we are on the right track. Okay, so now that I have all my footage, all my medias imported and organized in Final Cut Pro, I am finally ready to edit. In this video, I know that some of you have been waiting for this video for a while, so yes, let's get it, let's get to it. So the first thing I do is I import the talking heads on the timeline. Then I cut, trim, get rid of the dead spots, all the things that I don't wanna see in my video. And I wanna do this first because I wanna work on the skeleton of the video, first of all, then beef it up as I edit. My next step after that is to work on the colors and the audio of the talking heads. And there are basically two methods that I use depending on the project or sometimes depending on the day. But let's talk about the first method really quick. The first method is to work on the first video on the timeline. Color corrected, color graded, and then I use my preset audio for this mic setup in this room. Uh, which is always basically the same environment all the time because I, I am using the same room all the time, same lighting, same audio, same mic, same setting. And so I just use my preset, the preset audio that I created for this setup. How to organize your media, how to organize your footage in Final Cut Pro to edit faster. How to organize your media, how to organize your footage in Final Cut Pro to edit faster. And then I'm done doing all of that. I just copy and paste the attributes or the adjustments that I did in that first video to all the rest of the talking heads on the timeline. So to copy and paste the attributes, I just press Command C to copy and Option Command V to paste. If you want to be selective in the attributes that you want to paste on the next video, you can press shift command v and then you can pick which attributes you want to put on that video the second method i usually use it when i work on longer videos on longer projects and in this method instead of working on the first video i put an adjustment layer on top of all the videos so that every changes that i make in the adjustment layer will be applied to the videos under it so i do my color correction and my color grading in the adjustment layer and i don't have to copy and paste anything that's all and so i'm done with the color uh, correction and color grading process of the entire uh, timeline right now at least the talking heads but now with this method we still need to work on the audio because remember the first method we worked on everything first and then just copy and paste the attributes but with this second method we worked on the color correction first of the talking heads by using the adjustment layer on top of it now we need to work on the audio and to do that i create a compound clip and boom now we are just working with one clip and that's the great thing the cool thing about compound clip because now you only have one clip to work with or to work on so what's left to do is to double click the preset i want to use and voila so those are the two methods that i usually use interchangeably interchangeably <laughs> that i use every now and then uh, to work on my talking heads in the skeleton of my video so now that i'm done with cutting trimming working on the color and the audio of my main video i'm ready to add my intro my outro uh, and some of the call to action that i usually use in my videos i actually talk about this in detail in one of my videos so i'm gonna link that up right here because i already created a uh, preset by using compound clips again with 
with you know including all the sound effects of my intro outro and some of these animations that i always use in my videos my call to action animation so i'm just going to drag and drop them that's my next step right now drag and drop my intro my outro my call to action animations on my timeline my intro usually go right after the hook or what i say in the beginning of the video and then the outro will go at the end of the video of course of course it's you know Okay, so call to action animation, I usually put one subscribe animation in the beginning and one subscribe animation at the end. And I also put my name somewhere in the beginning and that's it. Then I add some extra text animations. Usually when I'm making a point in the video, then I add a text there or I'm asking a question like the question of the day. So let me know in the comment section, guys, are you more of a nighttime editor or a daytime editor? And for the rest of the video, I just pick a couple music that I like and then drag and drop them on the timeline, adjust the volumes, add a fading effect or some other effects that will help enhance the video or the pace of the video. After that, done. That's it. That is everything. But before I export, I watched a video from the beginning to the end, maybe once or twice or even three times, just to see if there are some things that I missed or something that I need to tweak just before I export. And if you guys wanna know more about how to export your video for YouTube uh, the right way, from Final Cut Pro, then I'm gonna link up that video right here as well. But that's all for this one. That's all for this video. And if you got any value at all from this video, don't forget to like it and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Push that notification bell so that you will never miss any content from this one. And I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Peace.